vlog today. My name is Amelia. If you don't know, my husband is Gary and our kids are Riley and Lorelai. Today I am showing you what we are doing and how we are doing to get ready for the next month. Um, this is going into December's. Um, I had this recorded and I thought I'd lost it but I had found it and so now I am doing it. But this is December's um, get the books ready for you and then I will show you what is in our backpacks or our carry-ons for later as we have these already together already together for this next month for February so um, yeah so I do not like carrying teachers books around I think it's um, needless I think it's I don't know it's just not for me so what I do is I take apart the kids' uh, teacher kids books or the books for the teacher and I take it off the binding um, they're usually um, like spiral bound so I take them out of the, that and I hole punch them and then because we use light units for most of our stuff I and the books are from usually uh, like 301 to 305 and then 305 or 306 to 310. So what I normally do is I take the teacher book and I unbind it and then I three hole punch and the books that the kids are working on say like Lorelai is in um, 209 so I have 209 and 210 um, just that section in my teacher book and then I do the same thing for reading, math, language arts, and not Bible because Bible is a book that we just, you know, we read the passage in the Bible. So I don't really have or use the teacher's manual for the Bible. So I just kind of leave the Bible together at that. And then, yeah, so this is how I do it. I take them out and I put them in this three ring binder for the week. It sounds redundant to do this, but for me, it really works because I don't like taking, I would be taking six teacher's books when I could just take one binder for each child. So these uh, three ring five star flex binders are what I use and this is what I'm doing. So yeah, um, right here I think I am doing, oh and by the way, I'm so sorry I'm wearing my pajamas. <laughs> I was not even thoughtful when I made this, but you know what? This is real life, getting it done, doing the things you got to do at the time when you need to do it. Um, I think this was when, like I said, we did this back in December. And I think this was when the kids were sick and I was just now getting better. So I was like, whatever. So pardon the messiness, but you know what? Real life. And so, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, this is me kind of getting organized. Um, how the books are and making sure that I have the right number of pages for the right books and then in this next one I am now doing ready so I'm taking out what he did and putting in or what we've previously done and then putting the new ones in so I'm not really gonna have you go through this whole thing it's a little redundant but see I kind of take it out um, to keep them organized because Lily will obviously go through this grade later on where I stopped to pick Riley's out, I put the back of the book um, that is was technically bound in the bookmark. So then when I take more out and put the others back, it's still there. So it stays in order. So it's fairly easy uh, system for us to take care of. And um, I really enjoy not having to look around at several kinds of books. What do you guys do? Do you guys end up taking books apart and teachers manuals apart so you don't have to have so many books laying around I'd really be interested to <clears throat> excuse me I'd really be interested to know how you guys deal with teacher books do you guys take off and do school other places other than your house like how do you guys do school on the go I'd love for some more information and I'd love to see how you guys do so here I am punching some more holes in because obviously Riley's the first to use it, so I need to punch more holes. So with that being said, I'm going to um, show you how we are going to, or how we use our kids' books when we're on the go. And uh, a lot of you have asked, 
how is our bags prepared or how are we prepared for the kids or how are the kids prepared for the month so with Christian light you have 10 light units of um, the subjects for most things except reading and Bible you have five for fourth grade and up and I believe it gets to 10 light units Bible in the later grades but anyway here's how I have or the kids have their book set up I have for the first two weeks we are doing these books here for Bible reading and math and then the next two weeks we will do these three um, if you haven't seen my other video, you may not know that um, when I started Christian Light last year, mid-year, um, we ended up going all the way back and missing the points that both kids have missed. Um, and we just started the very beginning and have been like doing three or four lessons a day just to get um, review and then finding out what we missed because it took us um, three or four um, three or four school years to figure out, no, I guess two and a half school years to figure out what actually worked for our kids. So as we were going through curriculum after curriculum, trying to find what works, we finally found what works. And so we decided to start at the beginning. And let me tell you, my kids have thrived and I am so glad I did. And I'm so glad that God led me to this curriculum when he did. But anyway, so usually you have one light year that you work on a month with Christian light we are doing two, um, and so by the time by the time the end of the school year ends, Riley will have fourth and fifth done, and which is right on track for those of you who tell me that he needs to be on track. So anyway, so we have our Bible here, and then we have our Bible book here, and right now we're on Bible 204 because we wanted to do their Bible, and we started with Bible 1. And that was fantastic. And so we we're just going on, um, going one after another because Bible, it really doesn't have to be on a specific grade level. So Riley is starting this next month come February. He's starting 401 of reading, language arts, and math. And then we're doing Bible. Then he has his creative writing book, his reader his notebook for spelling, his um, states and capitals, and then he's got the other books here. And so um, for this book here, it has the answer keys for these three and these three. And this helps me for when we go on days where we go out and do our school somewhere else. We just have this versus me having another bag like this with one, two, with four, six, with like seven teacher manuals that are like this thick each. So what I do is I take, as you saw in the video earlier, I take it off the spiral, I three hole punch it, and I put the subjects in here. I don't know how well you saw it, but then so I have math, I have, or language arts, math, and then reading. So, and yeah. So that's what we're doing here. And I, um, yeah, so that's what we have. Then we have pencils here with some extra lead in here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, then we have markers. We normally have scissors and, let's see, where is it? Is it this one? And um, page markers. I don't know where his page marker is. Um... Well, we have page mark. Oh, here they are. So page markers are normally in there. So when we're out, that is the thing that we do, the thing that we take. I hope you guys find encouragement in this, and we will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Have a great night. Bye.